Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store, get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're back showcasing a little bit of PES 2020 again. This is probably maybe the last video I put out uh, of the same gameplay or the same kind of matches. We've got something different today in the sense that we've got France and Arsenal, and we're going to be comparing it, not in major details. This is just sort of to showcase the differences between 19 of last year that were shown at E3 and 2020 that was shown this year at E3. So that's going to come up in the bottom left of your screen uh, in just a second. But I think it's just a really good way to see the differences between the two. Uh, I would recommend blowing up the video if you're on PC so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, on mobile, it might be kind of hard. But if you really blow these up too much, it becomes almost too pixelated and blurry. So I think it's better to keep them shorter or smaller so you get a better look of it. So I'll have a look at the menus in just a second before we dive into the gameplay. The presentation hasn't changed a lot, but they have stated that they're not final. There may be new added elements before matches with them coming out, etc. I do hope so. I do hope that Konami at least go in there and add something more to the start of the matches than seeing the same thing over and over again that we've seen over the last, you know, five years or so. Uh, so there's a look at 2020's sort of um, lineup screen. You can see it's purple. So they've gone for this purpley look this year. Last year, there it is, very gray, kind of boring. It does look more modernized, I'll give them that much. I personally am not that fussed about it. I play on PC, and at the end of the day, I'm going to be getting everything I need on the PC version to get everything that looks legit and official. But if you're on the PlayStation 4, of course, you don't have that luxury. So let's dive into the action. As you can see, first of all, um, I don't know when the France Arsenal match is played. I'm pretty sure this is nighttime. It looks like it's more floodlights because there's no sun beaming down. Uh, the turf does look nicer, I would say, that much. Not that PES 2019 looks bad. Um, but the speed of the game as well. I think that is something you've got to look at. But that's purely as well down to the fact that the camera angle uh, is further away. It just gives you uh, a better way of seeing the match. You know, making choices. Possession is always key in football. Of course it is. When the camera is too close, it makes it very, very difficult to uh, be able to do that because you just can't see as much of the field. You're constantly using the radar. This is a nice bit of play here by Abamyang. Have a look at this little pass through the middle and a good save as well by Loris. And he gets up really quickly, which is nice to see as well. You know, when I remember back in the day when the goalies were so sluggish. Once again here, player slips, great save, a nice piece of defending as well. Just heads it away. There's no hesitation by the defender. He knows a player could possibly be behind him. He can't see. What's he going to do? Best option is to clear it. So nice play by Mr. Number 19 there. Just gets it out any way possible. And Lloris applauding that as well. But I just feel like it's a really good video to actually look and compare. And I'm not going to sit here and say there's huge, massive differences. But you can't deny that PES 2020 looks better than 19 and another reason as well i feel like the ball is a little bit more free if you want to just you know quickly sort of watch one for a snippet then go back and watch the other one um you'll see the differences you know you look at 2020 the ball seems like there's a little bit more freedom about it the physics certainly look improved whereas pez 2019 everything is very much quicker the ball isn't as free i would say as what i can see from this year uh, and it's just more of a hectic game. And I think that's why there's more chances. There's more goals. I think there is a goal in the 19 one. Uh, we're not going to see any from the 2020. For some reason, they cut this match off after about 35 minutes, which is weird. I couldn't find the full match at all. So I don't know if this live stream just went off. Uh, but we're not going to get sort of a whole match. But we still get to see, you know, the gameplay itself. So yeah, just watching Pez 2020 here. Look, they work it down the flanks. And I, I really am quite interested to see how this is going to play out online. I know a lot of you play online, a lot of my club. You know, the scripting that we spoke of last year, that people talk about. Here was another good save by the goalie. Once again, uh, Leno gets up really, really quickly after making the initial save. 
There is going to be momentum shifts. That's going to happen. Uh, I think they did even mention that. In football, it does happen. You're right, it does. One minute a team's playing well, right? And then suddenly the crowd gets behind them and they start playing better. And suddenly there is a change in momentum and it shifts. Uh, but we don't want to see cheating or just constantly uh, silly things happening online because frustration kicks in and we get the same old spiel of people complaining. But they also need, we talk about servers, they need some servers that are going to work well. And if it's peer-to-peer, -peer, it's got to be a good, solid connection between the two players. So yeah, let me know your thoughts below uh, if you can really tell the difference. I mean, look at now, watch 19 here. You know, they start working it forward. They've got a bit of space out wide. They're going to opt to go the other way. But it's just so much faster. It seems rushed. It's like you've got to play a fast pass. You've got to play a fast pass. You know, players are running all over the place. There's the goal uh, that we're going to see. But on 2020, it's like every player has a little bit more time on the ball, you know. And as I keep stating, there's more freedom about the ball itself. The physics, definitely. I mean, that switch there looks beautiful. The physics definitely have been improved a lot more. Very good to see because physics are key, key in a football game. The ball has to be its own entity. Uh, and every year we keep stating, oh, it's getting better and better and better. And it is. PES 2019 for me was better than 18. I mean, out of the box, yeah, it was a nightmare. But the gameplay itself was actually rather good. Um, and this year... From what I can see from this E3 build, which is, by the way, older and uh, is not obviously the final copy of the game, they're going to still refine it and tweak it, and please do not speed it up. I know animations will be tweaked a little bit more, which, you know, in hindsight might speed the, the gameplay up a fraction, but we don't want to see, you know, E3 build being completely different from the final product. You know, the demo comes out. Everyone loves the demo, right? Everyone's like, wow, this is a great demo, great pace. The full game comes out and it's like, wow, what have they done? They've sped it up. Why do they do this? No one wanted this. So please, Konami, listen to us. Take our feedback on board uh, and really just grow from it. You know, they need to listen to the community. They seem to be doing it a little bit more. Uh, and they need to keep doing that throughout the next couple of years as they keep working towards making, you know, a really solid product, a realistic simulation of football, which is what we want. We don't want arcade anymore. arcade type games are starting to go, you know, on the back burner a little bit. Um, when it comes to sport games, we want more of a realistic simulation, like NBA, etc. And that's where I think Pez does excel over FIFA, purely because, you know, every player feels a little bit more different than the other. And if they can bring back that player ID, that team ID, that was back there in PES 13, it was. It was a joy to play with the likes of Messi, Ronaldo, etc. They're going to have a really solid, you know, product on their hands. So we're into the final few seconds of this actual gameplay, which is a bit of a shame because it's quite nice. A uh, good bit of possession, but I just do feel like there's no way near as many chances in PES 2020 because it is slower and you need to work it forward and sort of almost take your time and just create those chances. Now, moving on, that's the end of that one, but this is Ronaldinho's bit of tricky. Here we go. He flicks it up, controls it on the chest. Uh, he gets it completely wrong a little bit, but that was a snippet of what you can do with Mr. Ronaldinho himself. This was shown on the live stream, um, probably the English version. Yeah, I didn't see it myself when they showed it live. But I guess you just do a flick of the stick. I don't know how it works exactly, and then he kind of chests it like that. So... There it is. That can be done. You can see the ball physics come into play. Probably needs to be worked on a little bit. It wasn't the best animation, but it's certainly nice to see they've added that in there with Ronaldinho because he is, or he was, uh, just an absolute beast. So let's have a look at some new celebrations, shall we, uh, at the end of this video. So this is Badistuta there scoring the goal, jumping over the ad boards. Mr. Francesco Totti and Maradona celebrating with him. Uh, this was Lionel Messi smashing it in. We've seen this one a couple of times where he comes over to the camera, sort of pats his head, blows the kiss, and there we have it. There was, I don't know why Batistuta's sort of um, gun celebrations in this, because he's done that many, many years, and it's been on pairs for a while, so I don't know why they thought that was a new celebration. Uh, this one was Luis Suarez going around the back of the goal, and pretty much coming up to the camera giving it a kiss, and then uh, Dembele just says, no, we're not having any of that, son. Get a move on. 
Uh, there's Ronaldinho. This is a nice one. I have to say, this is probably one of the favorite celebrations that everyone is going to love to see. Ronaldinho looks fantastic. This is the more modern look of him, of course, with the headband. Still an absolute beast. But there's the old Samba. And it really does look quite nice overall. And a little boom, flick of the old heels. Lovely jubbly. Uh, moving on, here was a chance for Ronaldinho. I think he lays it off and his bat is Stuter again, rifling that one into the far corner. And yeah, he comes and does the old gun celebration. But as I said, not quite sure why this one's in there because, well, it's been in pairs for an awful long time. Now, unfortunately, the resolution is not the best in these videos. I really wish Konami would, you know, next year when E3 get some really nice streams, really crisp 1080p 60fps. They did a better job of it later on in the streams, but it is a shame when you can't fully see the details and the graphics themselves. Uh, this celebration, I think everyone's seen it. It's pretty cool. You got a kiss, got the old glasses, a bit of some dab action as well. So all the team celebrating in style. But yeah, I think we've all seen that one a couple of times now. I actually showed that in one of my other videos before. Make sure you do check all my PES 2020 videos out as I analyze and critique them as I love to do. I may be harsh at times, but I purely want the best PES that has to offer. I really do. It's such a fun game when it works. I enjoy Master League as much as it's been stagnant uh, for a while now, and hopefully this year it's going to be a blinder. Here was Ronaldinho. Lovely little finish by him there. Just bending it into the far corner. And there we have it. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is all for today. That is a look at sort of comparing the two. It wasn't a massively detailed video, but I wanted to put it out there at least that you guys can see the difference. I, I, let me know your thought. What do you think is different? Let me know below. Do you like the pace? Do the physics look better? The physicality of the players? What stands out for you? Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Till next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and take care.